I called 911 and told them my mother was weak, dehydrated, and everything was going completely through her. That she could barely stand, let alone walk, and felt like she was going to pass out. The 911 operator said she was going to switch me over to 811 so they could assess the call. I was asked to give the phone to my mother. They asked if she had chest pains. She said yes. They asked if she had any breathing issues. She said yes. She was telling them how weak she was, that she couldn't walk, couldn't eat anything, and then she put me back on the phone. I was told to take her to see her doctor, her GP. There was no way she could go to the doctor. And what could the doctor do? She needed emergency medical help, but how was I supposed to transport her to the hospital when she was so weak and I was fearful that she might pass out en route? They offered a few suggestions for car transport, but I was worried about how I could get her to, into any vehicle, especially being winter, so they suggested I call a medical transport agency to take her. It was extremely frustrating, and my mother was in distress, so I gave up. I helped get her dressed and very carefully got her to the car and took her to the emergency at the Misericordia Hospital. I did get a call yesterday from a lovely lady at AHS who finally took the time to hear my full story, and she said they would be investigating what happened with our situation. I don't want to lay blame on anyone. I just don't want this to happen to anyone else. The 811 system can work for certain scenarios. As myself, I have used it in the past for our family for different scenarios. I do hope this 811 system gets sorted out because we don't need to add to the crisis to our health care system. It really feels like health care in our province isn't just broken, it's absolutely shattered.